There was a bet that uh, this fellow, Edward Moybridge, this is before the invention of, of motion pictures, uh, had with uh, the governor of California as to whether a horse, when galloping, had all four feet off the ground at the same time and took a series of photographs with 12 cameras. Each camera was in a row, uh, tied to a string, and as the horse galloped across, it triggered each of these 12 cameras to create this motion effect. And in so doing, they discovered that the horse's hooves were off the ground at the point where the legs were underneath the horse as opposed to outside uh, of the horse, which had been the, the way that painters had depicted horses galloping uh, in the past. This surprised and shocked people and really set the precedent for motion picture in general to exist, but also for the power of high-speed imaging to reveal the world in ways that had never been seen before. Over a decade ago, Vision Research focused their efforts on, on digital imaging and created the first phantom cameras, which again were used primarily in industrial and scientific applications. Able CineTech approached Vision Research to explore the motion picture, television, and commercial industries, and was able to work with Vision Research to create a total package, including all the accessories that are familiar to film crews and film cinematographers. Uh, over the past few years, I've been involved in uh, numerous high-speed projects, uh, including NASCAR, uh, football, uh, large format projects, um, tabletop photography. Um, those have been the main areas that I've been involved in. And when mounting it onto uh, heads or, or cranes, uh, steady cams, uh, even on your shoulder, um, it, it's really nice to have such a small uh, form factor and to have such a, uh, a low weight uh, of the camera. I use these cameras uh, a lot here, um, both testing them and, and, um, and shooting. And, um, and because I have a background as a filmmaker um, and also as a, a very technical background, it's my natural role has really been to be a liaison between our clients who use the cameras and vision research. There's really a number of improvements that have been made to the cameras. Some are very subtle, some are more dramatic. Um, one of the big ones is there's a, a redesigned menu system that works in a much more familiar way for people that use uh, what I would say typical video cameras. Well, some of the complications with shooting at high speed, whether it be in the studio or the field, uh, is lighting. Um, generally with most high speed cameras the, um, the uh, ASA rating is, uh, is much lower th than the flex. Uh, the flex is rated at um, ASA 1000. So we've got uh, an additional uh, almost two stops of light compared to previous models of a high-speed camera. In the past, in order to do, a, to do a black balance, you always had to manually cap the lens, which uh, could be really difficult if the lens is up, if the camera is on a crane or something like that. Now it's no longer necessary because the shutter just closes. The uh, HQ mode, uh, which is uh, basically a mode you can switch on in the uh, menu and it allows you to shoot um, black balance free, uh, uninterrupted. You can change uh, any to, to, to basically any setting, uh, any frame rate, um, shutter speed or resolution. There's really so many different ways of using this camera. It can shoot 2500 frames per second in 1080p with a PL mount lens. Um, it can shoot 24 frames per second if we want at 2.5K with regular film lenses. Um, you can shoot 720p with Super 16 lenses. We can record the video output now in very high quality, 444 scaled from 2K or 2.5K um, down to 1080p or 720p. We can record directly to Cinemags. We can download files. There's just a hundred different ways of using the camera. It really is just the most flexible camera out there. You can use it as an A camera. You can use it as a B camera. Um, it can just fit into any production. There's an incredible range of of emotion and feeling and, and wonder that comes from looking at the world slowed down in a way that this camera is capable of showing.